Welcome to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Welcome back if you're returning. Thank you for showing up. I have had the hardest time today making this video. So um, thank you for watching. Um, this is Creatively Yours with Brandy and I'm Brandy. Uh, before I get started, I just want to put out a reminder, or a reminder, <laughs> a reminder that I've got a giveaway going on. So I'm giving away a Happy Planner Planner Mini, and I'm also giving away two uh, Happy Planner notebooks, mini notebooks, and they are awesome. They are all of them completely expandable, customizable to your liking. I love the Happy Planner and they're not paying me to say that. I absolutely love their stuff. So I want to share that with you guys. Um, if you wanna enter, again, see the video from last week and that's how you will um, find out how to enter. I will be making the announcement of winners on the video that comes out on the 18th. So if you'd like a planner or a notebook, please enter to win. Um, so today our topic is content calendars. Content calendars are amazing. That's all I can say about them. Um, they're, they can be as simple or as complicated, complicated as you need them to be. You can streamline your processes using a content calendar. You can plan your content out as far as forever, pretty much, um, you can plan it as far out as a year or as a week. It's up to you. It's up to your needs. You can um, keep track of your submissions if you're submitting to publications. You can keep track of your submissions. You can keep track of when your submissions were um, accepted, when they're supposed to post. You can also keep track of what you'll be paid for those submissions. You, If you're just writing for... Um, yourself, if you have a blog or you have a regular, you know, some sort of medium where you publish content and you are looking for a good content calendar system, I believe I have found the holy grail of content calendars, um, of digital content calendars. And this is a, it really is just a spreadsheet, but the design is amazing. I found it, I had to jump through some hoops to get it from another company, but I did it and I'm going to share it with you via a link in the bottom. So when um, you see it, if it's for you, go ahead, copy the link, put it in your browser, and then it'll be a Google Sheet. Um, you're gonna go to the Google Sheet, you're gonna make a copy of that and it'll be yours to edit as you will. Um, I used to use just a regular spreadsheet and it would have, you know, it had the date and it had the topic or the title of whatever I was posting. It had where it was going to post and keywords and like all kinds of other things on it. That system was super, super tedious for me. I didn't use it as um, frequently or as regularly as I should have because honestly, when you don't like something, you don't want to use it, right? So um, this, this particular spreadsheet that I found is a godsend because it's actually just, it's made to look like a calendar page. It's amazing. And then in the bottom, you can, you know, put your notes, you can put whatever you can, you know, you can customize it. You can make it, make it bigger, make it smaller, do whatever you will with it. I love it. And I thank this company very much for it. It's a free download with them, but in order to get it, you have to sign up for this. And you got to confirm that you got to do all this other stuff. I'm just going to share my version of it because of course I modified it for my needs. I'm going to share my version with you via the link in the bottom. Um, so what do you do with a content calendar? Well, anything that you're going to put out for consumption for public consumption will go on your content calendar the dates that you want stuff to post. So like this video is on my content calendar for this month and I am going to post this video. It actually says today's date, which is Wednesday. I'm going to post this on Thursday because this is like the fourth try at making this video today and it's just, it's frustrating. And so 
I still have to edit and I have some other videos some screencasts that I have to put in and all that other good stuff. So I'm pretty sure nobody's going to see this video until tomorrow. That being said, um, you can put, you know, the videos that you have coming up down the pipeline. If you have a podcast, you can put your podcast in, you know, spreadsheet form for your reference. I know you're watching. I saw your spreadsheet. I love your spreadsheet, but your spreadsheet would drive me absolutely bonkers. So the one that I'm going to share down here, you know, that's up to you. And I know you, you guys are way out into the future with yours. This is just a month. Or, you know, you can make extra sheets and spread it out for the 2020 year. Whatever. Um, I put things in. Um, I write for my own publications, which I have a few of. And I write for other publications. So I have content um, on the calendar for those and mine and for all of them. And you'll see. You'll see. Um, I how I, how I make my, my content calendar. Um, I do also have a physical analog content calendar that I put together just for this post, or I'm sorry, just for this video. And I will be sharing, um, there'll be images of that also. And, um, basically for that, I just wrote down everything that, you know, whatever could post on a specific date, the sky's the limit. You can put all or none on these dates. You can make your notes. You can put your goals. You can put whatever. Um, honestly, a content calendars are pretty much what you make of them. I worked with a company that scheduled their content out two months in advance, and their content calendar drove me bonkers. It was just a regular Excel spreadsheet, but it was all this text and then they would have the images of their social posts that they were going to be posting on that date but it was all jumbled up it wasn't organized very well and this if they had this content calendar that I'm going to share with you guys if they used this maybe they've modified it it's been a couple of years since I've been with them um, but maybe actually it's been a year and a half but Maybe they, you know, modified it to make it look better because at that, like, honestly, that content calendar gave me a headache. So again, your content calendar is what you make it. I love this one that I'm going to share. Um, also, uh, let's see what, what else, what else can I tell you about a content calendar? I mean, it sounds so simple, but it's really it's really, you know, again, as complicated or as simple as you make it. I think the best thing for you to do is just try it out. You can create your own, of course. Um, and I'll show you the old content calendar that I used. I think I already said that. I don't, I don't know. Um, but again, I hope you like the content calendar that I'm going to share. And if you like it, please leave a comment and let me know what you think. Um, I can't take credit for creating it, but I can take credit for modifying it. So um, that I think is all for today. Um, if you have any questions or if there's something that you want me to talk about, um, some of the things that I will be making videos on that are coming up will be um, my novel writing process, which I really don't have one, but I am trying to get better. So, um, I will be making a post about my new year's resolutions as a writer, my writing resolutions, because I do have a few, my habits are not the greatest and I want to improve for myself and for you. Um, also I will be making a post about, um, how to, um, how to make a writing schedule. And I don't mean, you know, a content, I mean an actual schedule for you to sit down and put some words to the page, whether it's for, you know, if you're writing for a magazine or if you're writing for yourself, if you're writing your memoirs, 
whatever you know you gotta you gotta be able to sit down and, and do that and if you have nothing better to do if writing is your full-time thing then you obviously know what I'm talking about if you're trying to break into the world of freelancing or build yourself a writing business then that's something that you might want so I'm willing to you know share <laughs> um, and then I will also be talking about there are actually a few books that I um, I just I finished on writing by Stephen King last week and that book is amazing and so I will be doing a little review kind of a recap and um, talking about the points the um, the points that I take away that I've taken away from the book I'll probably listen to it again before that because I think I was just so enthralled by listening to Stephen King tell his story that I might have missed some things so was that and I will do some um, research um, the writer's market um, just came out which is a uh, book it's a tome of agents of publications of people accepting submissions of people accepting queries um, it's like the holy grail for writers that just came out so I will be um, adding that to a uh, post, or I'm sorry, a video of um, books that every writer needs. I mean, you don't have to have the writers, the writer's market, but if you are looking to get an agent, if you are looking for um, publications, magazines, uh, journals that are seeking submissions, if you are looking for guidance, the writer's market is definitely a book to have. Um, it doesn't tell you how to write, but it tells you where you can where you can find people. So I um, will be purchasing a copy of that, and I will be talking about it with you. Um, that's pretty much about it. Um, again, I have a giveaway going on, so please see the previous video and. Hopefully you will be able to enter if you want to win something from me. Um, if not, then thanks for watching anyway. I will catch you guys again in the next video. Not sure what I'll be talking about yet, but I'm sure it'll be something that you either will want to watch or you will skip. <laughs> anyway, um, till then, ta-ta.